back to tractors and such. So, recently, uh, I want to do some engine work uh, to the, uh, the cab over my International Lodestar CO 1700. Um, the thing of it is, a few days ago, while uh, we were test driving it, we're just playing around with it uh, a couple days ago. Uh, when we were driving it down the road, um, it started to miss pretty badly. And uh, and the spark plug wires were um, they were arcing against the valve cover, so I'm going to replace the whole set of uh, plug wires, and I'm going to replace the plugs also while I'm at it. So, yeah. And uh, what I was doing, whenever you like you give it gas, like a lot of gas, like putting it in high gear and going, it just started missing badly. And, and then, as, and plus also on the left side where it was missing, it was uh, blowing, it was smoking on that one side where it was missing on, so, yeah. But I'm going to replace all the plug wires and also the spark plugs, so yeah. Alrighty, so, I guess we'll go ahead and get to this. And I'm going to show you all what you'll need. Alrighty, so I've got my parts laid out on the cab over. So, I've got this um, spark plug wire set for the whole entire, it's got, it's eight spark plugs and plus it's got a coil wire in here, so I want to replace that also. And it's a Napa, of course, and it's got a, it's a 700-166, 70 millimeter wires. So, yeah. And you also need some uh, auto lights, for example. This one had auto lights, uh, auto light, uh, 303 spark plugs on it. And, uh, I'm just going to replace them back with, uh, auto light 303s. And, and then you'll need a, a socket. You also need a spark plug gap because these are not, these are not pre-gap, so, and of course the international book says you need to gap them at 30 thousandths. So I got my spark plug gap. I'm going to gap them at 30 thousandths. And then you'll also need a piece of paper and a pen or a pencil. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw out eight cylinders on here. Which is just little marks. And I'm going to draw lines from the distributor to what plug they're on. So yeah. So now, so that's the first thing I'm going to do is just draw the lines and see what um, plugs they're on. Alrighty, so I've been taking most of the plug wires out. And uh, also a good way to um, set, a good way to keep you from having a big old headache is, well, every time I pull one plug wire off of a cylinder, I draw it to the I draw a line to it so where each plug wire goes so yeah you see I've got that all drew out so now like I said I got one more plug wire to pull out and yeah so I've got all the plug wires out I even pulled out the ignition coil wire that goes in the center of the cap Cause if not all, most uh, most of these are electrical taped together, which I understand. And it, that's, I mean, that's okay. Like it's just enough to get you to buy, but uh, I don't recommend that. So yeah. So now I'm gonna get y'all set up. Plug-ins yet, but all I am gonna do is just do a little unboxing of these plug wires. Well, that is easy. Silicon D dielectric compound with pot. Whatever that's for. I don't know what that's for, but 
Yeah. Silicone dielectric with PTFE. Whatever that is. I'm assuming you're supposed to put these on the end of your plug wires. I don't know. I'm sure someone will be saying what I should do with this. But I don't know, so I don't, I'm not going to mess with it. And there's your instruction books, of course. Alrighty, so we've got a few of these. So we got them. It's a good thing to get these laid out. I mean, yeah. There's your, the shortest one's always your ignition coil wire. That's funny, I just see Paul just come in, in the driveway. So, that's a really good timing. He's been up to the feed mill. I'm working on this. Oh yeah, so. I'm gonna put this back in the box. I'll ask him what this is for. He, he knows more about what this does than I do, so yeah. Uh, let's see. And your longest, I mean, I mean, see, you got a few of these because a few of these go on a certain cylinder, like these elbows right here, except the longest one. This one goes, I'll show you here whenever I put the thing distributor on. This goes on to the back cylinder on the left valve cover. The very back cylinder toward the transmission on the driver's side valve cover. The very longest one always does. So yeah. Alrighty, so let me go ahead and get uh, installing these. And yeah. And I also forgot um, these wires right here, like the 90 degree uh, curve on them. These aim toward the passenger side valve cover. But if you got one very long one with these, see this is like the long, very long wire. This goes to the, the back cylinder toward the transmission on the passenger side valve cover because it's the longest one. And these styles right here, these go toward, you got three of these style of wires. These styles right here, you got, not this, not the, not this one, the, this style, you got three of style, you got three plug wires, this in that goes in the cap, this one goes to the these three go to the three cylinders on the driver's side um valve cover the driver's side cylinders valve covers yeah but yeah so that's why i've seen people do it on youtube but yeah Alrighty, so I almost got all the wires uh, wired up, and I got a neat, and I got that one long one over there I'm going to show you in a minute. Now you're probably wondering, why I'm not, why I got the wires in and not take the plugs out yet. Well, I was just running my wires through, so it'd be easier in my opinion. All I got to do is take the plugs out, and I was going to replace the plugs. So, alrighty, so we've got the wire, uh, the coil wire on, for now at least. Uh, we had to take that boot off, and Paul had to put that boot on that uh, wire because that, that coils, that coils, and I don't know why it's got the fatter end, but I couldn't fit the new, well, new end on, but yeah. I just had to fit that fat end on for now at least. But yeah. So, right now I'm getting ready to. Take the plugs out. I'm going to do it one by one. Right, 
just all cropped on the tire on my on the tire so yeah so yeah so I'm just gonna go pull out one so there's one wire I'm gonna do these one at a time so I don't get these plug wires mixed up again but yeah So that uh, came off, so that was good. And I gotta watch these plugs sometimes because you don't really want to strip them out or break them off, otherwise, that's a bad day. And so here we go. There's a plug. It looks all badish. It's wet, so I don't know why, but it's wet, so yeah. And I've also got these new. I got two packs of these. I have to gap them. Got these new auto lights 303s, so yeah. I got my spark plug gap tool, and I'm gonna gap them like so. I'm gonna gap them up to uh, 30,000, so. It's on 30,000s exactly, so that's good. So now I'll go ahead and get this plug installed. If I can. <laughs> Here we go. I'll hopefully make this truck run a whole lot better. There we go. Only want to tighten it so much. Oh. So there's one. I got seven more to go, and I'll get back to you all when I get the rest of them on. Alrighty, so I've got uh, I've got this side, these four done on this side. So now I'm gonna go over to the driver's side and uh, do them four. So, yeah. All right, so now I'm over here at the other side and I'm getting ready to take these out and replace them. And one last one. All righty, this plug is done. Plugs are all done now, so that's good. I'm gonna tie these wires, like put, put these, I got a little wire loom thing I'm gonna put the wires in. And I'm gonna, oh my, that ain't good. Um, I'm going to uh, take that off. I'm gonna put splice in it because I don't like these clips. And plus, they're not really that good, so. I'm gonna get a splice and splice that in there. Put uh, 
a splice in it. So I want to do is wrap that in electrical tape for a watertight seal. So yeah, then I'll get that uh that loop, which is this on. And so I'll have so I can tighten easy uh, tightly and get this thing uh uh what you call it tidy up I guess <laughs> so yeah uh, let's see what else I think that's oh yeah and then I gotta uh, uh, tighten the plug wires up on the other side to get away from that shifter arm but yeah alrighty so I've done the best I got the I got these things uh, electrical tape for a watertight seal if I possibly could I know I could have probably had heat shrink, but I didn't have heat shrink, so, yeah, but, let's see, now I'm going to get my, my wing set, I'm just going to cut a small opening in the bag, I'm going to get as much as out to measure it, there we go. How much do we need? I'm gonna try and get the all these in here. Yeah. I'm gonna get this in off camera because that'll take me a minute. But yeah. Alrighty, I got this a uh, little bit of the wiring loom on, so that's nice. And now I want to get a zip tie and zip tie this to this uh, wiring harness right here, so I can get away from that exhaust. Alrighty, so I did the best I could by running that uh, loom up here and uh, zip tied the wires away from the exhaust manifold. Alrighty, so I'm sorry it's dark. It's been a few days later since I uh, touched this. I, I just got to put my one last wire on because I need to. And and I'm sorry it's dark as of this video part of the clip. But now I just need to put my last wire on this middle one that's uh, right here. I took this one off. Set it over there and I'm just going to throw that over I'm going to hook it up uh, back up to the cap and I'll be back here and put a zip tie on it alrighty so I've got the other plug wire back on so yeah and I'm getting ready to go over here and gear to start if I can Choke. Ever feel few pump?
start again. Thank you all for watching this video and please give it a like and please subscribe. So now we'll go with Paul to the devotion. Our devotion today is Genesis chapter 3 beginning in verse 10. And he said, I heard thy voice in the garden, and I was afraid, because I was naked, and I hid myself. And he said, Who told thee that thou was naked? Hast thou eaten of the tree thereof that I commanded thee that thou shalt not eat of? And the man said, The woman whom thou givest to me, she gave me of the tree, and I did eat. And the Lord God said unto the woman, What is this that thou hast done? And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me, 
and I did eat. And the Lord God said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle, and above every beast of the field. And upon thy belly thou shalt go, and the dust shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. And it shall, and her seed, it shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. And unto the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. In sorrow thou shalt bring forth children. And thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. And unto Adam he said, Because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife, and hast eaten of the tree of which I commanded thee, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it. Cursed be the ground for thy sake. In sorrow thou shalt eat of it all the days of thy life. Thank you for watching Kate's video today. God bless you. See you on the next posting.